Hello everybody, welcome to another video of, well, actually, no, this is my first video of Gmod. Um, sorry for an another light upload. It's not the same as last time. I've been trying to figure out how to set up everything. But in this video today, we're going to be testing out some of the whack aircraft and community items. Um, both fan-made from them and the regulars. So, let's get started. Alright, so as you see over here, we got a few. Um, yeah, we got quite a few I can go after. Some of them are quite glitchy, so you can't really do all of them. But I must say, these are most of the aircraft. Let's get a good look for you. Alright, so, you see that? This is the Chinook. Um, it has a few seats in it. It has... just a few. Uh, two. It only has up to eight seats. Um, yeah, that's the Chinook. We'll be flying this one first. Now on to the Hercules. Yeah, it has quite a few seats. Well, not that many as the Chinook. But it's still like, quite a big plane. It has a opening to the back. And a quite detailed front. Over here of the Halo Pelican. It has these seats. There's a lot of them. As that is a carrier ship. And we also have the Osprey over here. Not as many seats as the Pelican, but it still does. We have the Thunderbolt over here. It's a, it's a fighter plane. It only has one seat, and it does have guns. Over here we have the Cobra. There's two variants of this. I forgot which one this was called. And we have this helicopter over here. We have the glider. Three variants of the Hornet. They're all different types of airplanes. Um, just ignore that. It has two, it has quite a few seats. Three seats. Might be the same, each of them. Um, yeah. What about this one? Yep, um, three seats. Got this one over here. It's an old fashioned. So far, right? But it's still okay. Oh, here's another helicopter. Which only has two seats. And now we also have an amphibious helicopter and another ref um, type of it. These are two are the same, except this one can land on water, this one can't. We also have another variant of the Cobra, which as you can see is already over here. We have two variants of the um, Little Bird, MH, AH. Right here is another helicopter, I don't know what's these names. This is also, this is also another custom made one. This is part of the black aircraft, so is this, and this is also another custom made. It doesn't have many seats in it, so yeah. So, to start off, got the Chinook, all doing a fly around of the Chinook, just around the tower, rip off flat grass. By the way, if you want to check out this map, this is called Tall Grass, and here are the mods. Up here you can see the link 
to all these mods. A lot of them are dupes. But, uh, yeah. Takes a bit to start up, it seems. Let's move some powers. Failed driving, got distracted. Can't really make up excuses about that, but it wasn't meant to be excuse. So that was the flight test of the Chinook helicopter, and now let's move on to the Hercules. Alright. This thing seems as if its range of hitting something would be high. So I probably need a wider area to fly it. it. Seems more agile than you would expect of a cargo plane. It's basically just like the other and I it again. It's another fail of flying, but as I already said, it is a not a difficult thing to fly. It just has a wild span of it. Moving on to the Halo Pelican from the whack, I damaged it. That was quite a soft takeoff. You can barely see out of the window. I was a little early to say that. I already crashed again. Now let's move on to the Osprey. I'll try not to crash this one, although I'm not very good at flying these type of helicopters. They already damage it. Oh.
five down. Okay. So the Osprey is a quite easy and simple thing to fly. It has quite some stability, and its textures also look great. It doesn't have any skins, extra body groups, that is fine. You can't close the back door just like any other of the WAC vehicles. But other than that, it the only downside to it is um, just that it's loud. So let's just give you like a big uh, spectrum here. We'll go around in the back, see if anything looks good. And yeah. Alright, moving on. Let's go back down. Just leave that to fall down and crash. Alright, moving on to the uh, Thunderbolt. Thunderbird, I don't know what it's called. I had under its name. And so, yeah, the Thunderbird, Thunderbolt, has a quite stable landing and flying capabilities. It has more than one skin. Yeah. Which means you can change it to your liking. And yeah. It's not very wide, it is agile, and controllable. Just had to do that. Alright, on to the next one. To the better version of the Cobra. Let's just start off with a quick overview of it. So it already seems a lot better than the regular one. It has metal missiles, when it seems like, and larger types of missiles. Same on this side. It has larger blades on it. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really have any more differences. <laughs>
so that was only a short overview because I was about to crash it, and I didn't want to waste any more of your time. But as you can see, it has not much of a stable control, like most black helicopters. Um, uh, yeah. That's the ver um, second version of the Cobra. And, uh, yeah. So we want to the next section. Alright, let's move on to the more simple one. Probably the simplest one in there. A simple it, It's a glider, does exactly what you expect. It doesn't turn on, so we'd probably need a higher area. Although it does have a propeller on the back, which is quite weird. Unless I damaged it too much. We just try it like this. Let's just move it a little back. That thing obviously flies. And, uh, yeah. That's... Oh, wait. It glides. But it also crashes. And it explodes. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what was wrong with it. Maybe it was glitched. Well, I picked it up and put them into position the first time. It didn't take any damage, so I don't know what is on about that. Alright, now let's move on to another helicopter. This one probably is gonna be loud. And so yeah. Yeah, that obviously was quite a fail. As you can see, that helicopter had two positions. One with a semi-explosive gun on it, and the other with 14 missiles equipped on it and two cameras. Uh, let's move on to the rest of this position, up here. You could see, you have the Hornet. We're not gonna- said before, most of them are glitched, so you drop them too hard on the floor, they'll just explode. Alright, good. Two of them have the same model, step on ones.
So as you can see, this uh, Myos, I'm kind of good at it. It has some good stability and control in it. It has no weapons, and as you saw in the right bottom right corner, it has five seats. I didn't actually realize that. I wasn't paying attention, as always. But um, yeah, you can see back here. You can sit. And same with over here. On these sides as well. And uh, yeah. These are just different models. This one was the same as the one that exploded on impact. Just has a different amount of seats. The other one had five. But this, there's no need for this one. Alright, now moving on to this. Those old time planes. I can't really say anything about it. I have no idea. <laughs> um, so it does flips randomly. Well, if, if you go a tad up. And so, yeah, you saw the model of it, you saw the gun. And previously, I showed you before, it only had one seat in it. Um, let's go to a quick one. Let's try this one. Alright, so this helicopter has, well, it seems to have only one weapon. Uh, four blades and... I don't know what that is. I think it might be a camera. No, no. Definitely has something important. Uh, it just looks like a typical helicopter besides that part. And, uh, yeah. I showed you before, it only has two seats, as you can see in the bottom right. As you saw, it only had one side of the gun working properly. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I only have limited time on this video. So I'm gonna stop it at 26 minutes. Um, I'll see you tomorrow in part 2, once I get the chance. Bye, everyone.